So I haven't been online for a while. I haven't posted anything on Twitter. I haven't given any updates. Uh, I haven't said anything about any more streams. So I thought I'd fill you in on what's happening. And the case is I have some form of insomnia. I have some weird, weird form of insomnia. It's really weird. If you remember, a while ago I made a video talking about my anxiety. Hell, I even was making videos during my anxiety problems back in 2016, I think. And, you know, it, it, went, it didn't go away till 2017, I think. Or it was either 2016... No, no, it was, 20, it was 2016... No, wait. Or maybe it was 2015. It was either 2015 or 2016, uh, but anyway, going on. Um, so what's basically happening is that I'm having a hard time falling asleep at night like I should be. Uh, instead, I'm staying up till trying to sleep, and I don't end up going to bed until like 5 in the morning. Um... I don't know, part of me can't relax, and the other part of me can't, uh, uh, you know how, you know how, um, what helps you sleep is that, uh, uh, you're imagining, you're creating, like, situations for yourself that, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of like, ima you're kind of imagining you being in a different world, or, or doing something, or whatever, and it kind of, you know, it kind of helps, uh, carry yourself into, into sleep. You know, I, 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 I don't believe that I'm the only one who who knows about this. I think everyone does. Um, uh, but it, it's been weird because the last couple of days, I've kind of had a hard time doing that. Like, I'm, like put really putting myself in there. Um, I kind of keep snapping back to being awake. And I, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, and I'm sure it's harder to understand, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just been really weird. Right now, I have, I have a weird, weird headache. It doesn't hurt, it just feels like, I don't know, it feels like I'm both tired and awake. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, but I think also, it's not only that I'm having insomnia I think it's just also that I'm having a uh, I'm having uh, uh, a form of anxiety because I'm kind of worried right now and you know when you get anxiety and start building up stress it really it can really do things that you don't imagine like your head randomly hurts or or you know you're you're shaking or whatever and that's what I feel is also happening although I am taking the same meds I was before, vitamin C and B12, and I'm also taking something called uh, melatonin, which apparently is supposed to help regulate sleep uh, and sl help you sleep longer. But guess what? It isn't working for me. It's not working for me. I I uh, I took it at about eight o'clock and and. Uh, for the next like two and a half to three hours, I was just, I just couldn't fall asleep, and um, you know, I, I'm thinking that the solution might be to try to, because because I've been doing this, I think the solution might be to try to stay up all night until um, until the night time of the next day, where you might be able to fall asleep much easier because if you skip a if you skip a sleep schedule, you might be able to sleep easier. And, yeah, the problem with that is that I'm kind of, like, freaking out a bit when I'm staying up at night. Like, the anxiety is kind of building, and uh, and I just keep trying to go to bed, but I can't go to bed, so I stay up, but I don't want to stay up because I want to go to sleep. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It all kind of started, like, about a week ago, I think, um, where I, uh, where I was starting to build up a nasty or, uh, weird thoughts about how, uh, I, and I know this is going to sound crazy and trust me, I, I know it is crazy, uh, but how people, um, kind of transition into the sleep world and 
part of that, uh, plus I think it was already like starting, like the uh, whole insomnia thing. Um, part of that uh, I think is the reason why uh, um, I've been struggling sleeping. It's just that I can't really imagine good. I I um. I, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Um, yeah, I actually completely forgot what I was going to say. Fuck. And I, I don't know what else, I don't know what else to say. Um, I have been talking to my boss about it and, uh, I had to, I had to stay home on, uh, Tuesday, which is when I normally work, so yesterday I had to stay home yesterday and um, I don't know how long I'm gonna be away from work I'm uh, same thing with the anxiety I'm afraid like this is gonna cause me to lose my job and I don't know like if there's anything I can do about it like I, I'm already trying to deal with it like I'm already trying to go to sleep and take medications that can help me relax but uh, I don't know. It's just um It's just um I, I don't know. Like w like will it ever will I ever fix will it ever fix itself? And this is the, these are honestly the same questions I've asked myself when I had insomnia or not ins anxiety. Um I always thought to myself, you know, well, okay, how long is this going to be? Is this going to be with something is it going to be something that I have for the rest of my life and Obviously not, like, a couple months after it went away completely, and, yeah. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm afraid of is that this thing is going to take, like, a couple of months or something to get rid of. I'm hoping, th I'm hoping that at the very most, this will only lasts till the end of April. Uh, quite the way to start up my April, wouldn't you say? Like, I cannot fucking believe that something like this decided to pop its head in and there's nothing I can do about it except, you know, just wait. Just try to keep going and, um, you know, try to forget about it, you know. Try to move on and just try to keep on with my normal life. And it, it, it sucks. It really does when stuff like this just pops up. And you just want your life to be normal, but you can't. Uh, it just it just sucks. Um, I don't know what else I can say. Uh other than uh other than show your support somehow whether it be a comment or whatever uh show your support somehow and hopefully this will blow over in in uh soon cuz remember the anxiety lasted for about a month but here's the thing after a month i started taking these vitamin c chewables which caused it to um kind of just go away. Um, and the first time I took these, I felt really rela I felt really relaxed and comfortable. In fact, um, the first time I took these, I was able to go to sleep uh, at 11.30 for about five hours, which I thought was amazing. I thought it was a miracle to me. Uh, in fact, if I could go to sleep at fucking that time every night, that'd be great. I'd be fine with that. Till and, you know, eventually I would, um, Eventually, I would, uh, you know, start sleeping longer and find sleep easier, but, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, another thing I should mention is that I don't really feel tired, and I feel like there is some kind of uh, disconnect between my body and my brain. I, I know it sounds weird, but it, it does. Like, it feels like I have a harder time imagining stuff, like I said, and... Yeah, it, it feels like it feels like I don't get tired, and yeah, and right now I think I'm I think I'm feeling worried. A part of me feels a bit shaky, so yeah. Um. Anyway, sorry, sorry for this. What might feel like a pointless update? Well, no, it's not. It's not pointless. It's an update on. It's an update on health. So, yeah. Um. Um. I there's again there's not much you guys can do for me except show your support somehow. Um, I don't, I don't know when this is going to pass, hopefully in about a month. 
uh yeah uh, it, um i think that's it so yeah thanks for um thanks for watching and i'll see you guys